Hey guys, my name is Andrea and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to film this video. I've literally been wanting to film it since a week after I had my baby, but it just so happens that Amaris turned seven weeks this week, so she's almost two months old and I can't believe it's so crazy. She's just growing and I love watching her learn and just mature every day and play with her. It's the best, but I finally have time to shoot a video. I don't know why I did the thumbs up, but whatever. I wanted to film a newborn essentials video because I know as a new mom, it's really hard to figure out what you really need for your baby. When I say need, I mean like the modern 21st century mom because I mean, come on, do we really need all this stuff? Probably not, but I'm gonna show you what I think you actually really need. So I will just try to link all the items I show below so that way if you like them, you can go ahead and purchase them yourself. If you wanna know what to get for your baby, then go ahead and keep watching. My newborn bath essentials are the Honest Brand Shampoo and Body Wash, two washcloths, one for the body and one for the face, two soft hooded bath towels, a baby comb, a baby nail clipper, and a baby bathtub. Okay, so for bath time, I went ahead and put this baby bathtub on my registry, and thank you to my older brother because he actually got me this. I personally liked this one because as you can see, it slants down. So I just thought that would be comfortable for the baby to have his or her head placed here and then put the legs in between this little slot right here to really hold them up and that way the water can drip down their bodies because I was afraid when I saw the other ones that looked like they were just kind of like a swoop that didn't have any tilt to them. I thought the water would just stay inside and that wouldn't be really safe. So I strongly recommend this one because of that reason and also because it has the miniature holes in it so that way the water is just going through and it's not staying inside if you have some form of pitcher or water holder it would be really nice to get so that way you could just pour it on your baby while he or she is in here when I was looking for different shampoos conditioners and body washes I wanted to be very careful about that because I know that newborn skin is very sensitive so I wanted to make sure that it didn't have any harsh chemicals or anything like that so that is when I came across the Honest brand and this is actually by Jessica Alba. This one seemed great because it didn't have any scents um, or chemicals or anything like that. And this is really nice because it has this pump right here so that way you just squirt it. And what I like to do is I like to get a really, really nice thin soft wash rag which this is actually a burp cloth that I was gifted by my friend Sam but I found that these are very nice when giving your baby a bath because it's just so soft on the skin and what I usually do when I'm prepping my baby is I go ahead and put this on the tub like that put her inside of it and then I just take a wash rag or burp cloth I just do one pump on the cloth and with this cloth, I just go ahead and rub, scrub, scrub, rub. <laughs> I lather your body gently. And um, I actually like to use two of these because if you're getting in the butt crack and other little private parts, then you don't want to use the same cloth you're using on the body as you do on the face. Um, when I do go on the face, I don't use the body wash. I just use water because I don't want to get anything in her eyes, even if it's safe. Um, but I definitely recommend having two really soft washcloths or burp cloths, so one for the body and one for the face. Also, when Amaris had her first bath, um, when we were still in the hospital, I saw the nurse that was giving her a bath using this comb. And I actually asked her about it and she's like, oh, here you go, you can have it. And I was like, okay, great. You know, I don't have to buy one. So. If your baby came out with a full head of hair like mine, then it's really, really nice to have one of these because when you're lathering the shampoo on her head, um, I also like to run through it with the comb. So that way it really gets all her hair, her scalp and everything. And then I go ahead and just rinse that off. You can use a third washcloth to just dab water if you want as well, if you're not using a pitcher of water. So that way you clean all the soap off. And yeah, then your baby is ready to go out of the bath. It's so cute because 
Amaris is starting to take baths with us now, so we hold her very, very carefully while one of us is supporting her and helping her bathe. Um, so usually Benny will hold her and I'll bathe her. She loves it when the water goes on her back and it's just the cutest thing. She's smiling and she's so happy. So she's really loving bath time. The other baby bath essential is a baby bath towel, of course. So I just have this really soft hooded towel that she could put her head in right there. So right when she's done out of the shower, I just put this on top of her head and wrap her in this so she won't be cold. The other thing I really like to do is actually have two of these when I'm bathing her because that way I can put this one on her and then have the other one dab as this one is wrapped around her so that way she won't feel so cold. And then once she comes out of the shower, I also like to lay the second towel on her chest so that way once I'm putting her diaper on, she doesn't feel as cold and one is on her head while the other one is wrapped on her chest and it's a little bit drier. And I just put that diaper on right away <laughs> so that way she doesn't make any messes, which those have been interesting lately, but you know, that's mom slash dad life is handling all the blowouts and stuff. Once that's all done, I go ahead and run the comb through her hair again. So it really sits nicely on her head because as her hair is growing, it's becoming very poofy, spiky, spongy, and it looked kind of funny. It looks like she just got electrocuted. So we really gotta, you know, comb that hair down and make it nice and sleek. One more thing that doesn't correspond necessarily to the bath, but it goes with grooming a baby is nail clippers. This one I just bought off of Amazon. I'll also link it below, but it's just a tiny baby nail clipper and it's pink, of course, you know, my favorite color is pink. So I have clipped her nails with this about three times now and I find that it works really well. So I would recommend this. Moving on to the diaper station and all the baby essentials for changing the baby's diaper. I'm going to start with the Honest Brand Diaper Rash Cream. I definitely recommend it because your baby could potentially get a lot of rashes just from having their diaper constantly changed. Every time that we do put this on her, it does clear up almost right away. And again, this is really, really great because it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. There is no scent to this and it's just very nice for the baby sensitive skin but i just found the diaper rash cream to definitely be a changing essential when i was pregnant i was researching a lot of different types of diapers i found that a lot of them are very very similar the one that i've noticed my baby fits the best in is the pampers diaper so this one i like personally because i feel like the rouging on the sides fits her body very well. It grips around the legs very nicely and it holds everything in that it's supposed to. But you know, if you're a parent, when you have those blowouts, they're just gonna happen. So you just gotta be ready for them. I don't know if any diaper can really hold that in, but you know, I just find that these are really, really great. They're also very soft, they're thin. And the tabs, go really nicely around the stomach and seem to be very comfortable on her. I was also recently gifted the Pampers wipes before I was using the Honest brand wipes, which were really, really nice. The texture had a nice grip to it to really clean up all the mess, but they were a little bit too wet. So I found that that was partly the reason why she was getting more rashes because the wipes were so wet and then it wouldn't like dry off in time. So I find that the Pampers brand is the perfect medium because they're not too wet, they're not too dry. And I really, really like this case that my dad actually just gifted me. Um, I haven't opened it up yet, but I have other ones just like this. This is nice because then you can just fill up the box with new wipes and then it's just ready to go for you. Another great essential that I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend is a changing pad. So this changing pad, I actually have a changing cover on top of it, but the inside of it is like a plasticky, quilty material, and it's really pretty because it has white roses on it. Um, but this is great because it's waterproof. 
and you definitely, definitely, definitely <laughs> need that when you're changing your baby because everything is gonna go through. It goes through their diaper, it goes through their onesie, it goes through the sheet, it goes through the pad. So you need something that's gonna be waterproof because that's very important. But it's nice to just have a um, sheet that goes over the changing pad because if you do have a very intense mess, you can just go ahead Take the sheet off throw it in the washer and that way the actual pad doesn't get dirty um, and then you can just put another sheet on top i had both of these on my registry and they were from amazon so i will go ahead and link that below now i'm going to share my feeding baby essentials so when i am not breastfeeding i do use formula and i've been using the enfamil neuropro gentle ease infant formula it looks like this. You can get it at Target, Safeway, Walmart, any of your local main stores. And the reason why I started using formula was because the second day I got back from the hospital, I tried breastfeeding her and she just was not taking it. So I got worried that she hadn't ate for, you know, over the recommended period of hours. And I asked Benny to just go to the store and get formula. So he went ahead and picked this one up. This one does say that it's milk-based powder with iron and um, it is supposed to ease gas, fussiness, and crying. So I believe that's why he picked it up just because it does have so many great nutrients. And it is designed to do all of the things that it's claiming to say it does. And after using it, I believe that that is true. I found this to be really awesome because how this works is inside, it comes already packaged in a little bag. And then the formula is just right inside, which is all powder. And it comes with a nice little scoop that looks just like this. And right now she's eating up to four ounces when I do do a, when I do do, when I do a bottle serving. So I usually do two scoops of the formula. We've been using the Tommy Tippy bottle and it's so cute because whenever she gets hungry and I don't give her the boob, I'm always like, Tommy Tippy's coming for you. I'm going to give you a Tommy Tippy. Don't worry. So this comes in three parts and that is the bottle with all the ounces listed on the side and then it comes with the top and the nipple and then this is to place right on top so that way you can shake the water and the formula inside and then is ready to go another great item that i put on my registry is the gimmers bottle sterilizer and warmer and this has been really really awesome so i definitely recommend this as a must-have because all you do is plug it into the wall you go ahead and you put some water into this little bucket right here and you put the bottle inside on one side that has the warmer underneath you close it and top the lid off on the setting you just press the power button and turn it on and then we already have it automatically set to about four to five minutes depending on the serving and it will just heat the bottle on the side that the heater is placed on and it will ring when it's ready you take it off the bottle is ready to go you do have to be very careful because it can get very hot so you either want to wait a little bit or take it out with a towel or a rag and shake it up for your baby one more time and it's ready to go so this has been a really really awesome system that we have going again when i am not breastfeeding the other great thing about this product is it does much more than just warms up bottles and sterilizes them i also read on the directions that you can also place different types of vegetables and things like that when your baby does get older so the vegetables can be steamed so i found that to be really really awesome for when she does start eating food and she gets older so there you go strongly recommend these products the tommy tippy bottle the gimmers bottle sterilizer and warmer and the enfamil formula also while you're feeding it's really 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 important to have burp clots your baby is gonna burp up all the time when people tell you to buy a million burp cloths you really have to do it so i'm gonna show you my top four burp cloths and you can go ahead and pick out which one works best for you so i think this one is actually number one for most people it's just the white muslim burp cloth and this one is great because it's super soft it's pretty stretchy 
you just throw it over your shoulder. I feel like people like it because it's easy and the shape of it is nice because it kind of covers all of your shoulder, your front side, and your back side when it's gonna go everywhere. So it covers a great amount of range and I feel like it cleans really well even if it is white, so that's great. Another great one that I found on Amazon is just another muslin burp cloth but i believe this was more for the bath but i found it better for the use of a burp cloth just because of this kind of like quilted soft material and i like this one when it's just a cute little little burp up not a big one where you can just dab it up and it's really soft on their face and nice um but when it's a big messy one this is not the one I would go with. This one is a similar style to the white muslin cloth. Um, I think this one is from Walmart. It's the Gerber brand. And I was gifted this one and Benny and I really, really, really like this one just because it's very, very soft. Again, it covers everything. This side, it has more of a towel material. So it almost like sticks onto your clothes a little bit better while this side's nice and soft for the baby. So this one has been really, really useful and this one's Benny's favorite. When you have a huge burp up, these big burp up blankets are the best because it covers the full range of your body almost, <laughs> unless you wanna use like a legit real blanket, <laughs> which hey, that might not be a bad idea. But I would just recommend these also for the major, major big burp ups because it can just cover a lot more mess and you can also fold it over. So then that way there's more surface to burp on and then you just keep folding it and folding it and folding it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's kind of what I do sometimes. I just keep folding it. <laughs> so it's not it's very convenient because then you're down to that like final square and then you're like, okay, last burp up, toss it in the laundry. So these are the four styles of birth, birth cloths. No, we don't want birth cloths, <laughs> burp cloths. These are the four styles of birth. These are the four styles of burp cloths I strongly recommend. Okay, when it comes to baby clothes, trust me, I'm like the most girly girl of all time, even with my own clothes. Like, I absolutely love clothes, I love accessories, I love things to match, but we are strictly talking about essentials here, people. So, I'm just gonna cut it down to the bare essentials, <laughs> which, is, which is difficult for me, trust me, because I don't even like like shirts like this is a crop top and has some fluff to it you know I'm not really an essentials type of girl but this is an essentials video so I'm gonna get straight to it okay so for baby clothing essentials you'll definitely need a onesie sleeper and this one is one that I was gifted it's really cute it just says cute little princess but really just anything that covers the feet this one does not does nut does not this one does not this one does not cover the hands but the ones that do are also really awesome that come with the little mitten covers but these sleepers are awesome especially the ones with the zippers because it just makes it so easy to unzip and change your baby's diaper and then zip them right back up instead of the ones with the buttons so I definitely recommend the onesie sleepers with the zipper. Benny's favorite is the little Moo Moo we were gifted. So this is very similar to the sleeper, but this one does have buttons and it is not a pant sleeper. It is just open, so I call it her little Moo Moo. Um, this one is also great because you literally just roll it up. You can change her diaper, roll it back down. The only downside to the Moo Moo sleepers that I see is they roll up very easily when you pick them up or you know when you're just moving around with your baby and then they're kind of bottomless um, so they can get cold or it's just kind of like inconvenient to have it all ruched up at times but as far as changing their diaper this is very very easy to do and very convenient so i do recommend that and the back of it does have a couple extra buttons so the hole does get a little bit smaller and it's more snug and it can fit them down below so it doesn't ride up hopefully this one is also nice because it does come 
with the rollover mitten. So when you're looking to purchase sleepers for your baby, this is very convenient because you could just roll over like that and then their hand will be fully covered as well and that way you don't have to purchase um, separate mittens you can just have it all in one but then again this one doesn't come with the footsies so I would recommend when you're getting a sleeper find one that covers the foot and the hand that way you literally got it all covered in one outfit and then you're just ready to go they can just sleep in it and they're super comfortable going off of that if you don't have an outfit that already comes with the mitten cover-ups like i showed you on the sleeper onesie then little mittens are definitely an essential the reason why these are important besides your baby's hands just being cold and them sticking their hands in maybe when their hands are not clean and you just want them to have their hands covered it's also because the baby's nails are constantly growing they're gonna become little scratchy cats <laughs> that scratch you up <laughs> and tear you apart into shreds i'm just kidding that's a little bit dramatic but i literally did have scratch marks like all over my neck and i looked crazy like i just got attacked by a cat or something like the old lady on madagascar but anyways Mittens are an essential for that reason just because you don't want to get scratched You don't want them to scratch their own face like, But yeah, you just want to protect them and you want to protect yourself. So I strongly recommend mittens Besides that if it's a little bit hotter like it is in Arizona I recommend just like a normal onesie that clamps at the bottom right there this one is really cute and really special because we actually had one of Benny's friends customize this for us and it says her name Amorous Eve on it. So it was just such a cute and beautiful gift. It's so adorable because it is a very plain basic onesie, just gray, soft cotton, but it does have that special touch to it. So if you're looking to have a nice basic, but also, you know, have something that's a little bit memorable or special on it, you could always put their name, which I really, really loved. And when we opened and saw this as a gift, it was really, really special and just cute. So she also took a little picture with her daddy in it, which I will insert here. I'm gonna stay right next to you. That same couple also gave us this O spit. And this is nice to put on top of their onesie or whatever they're wearing, just in case they do burp up or whatever, if you don't want to have a burp towel on hand all the time. This is just, you're ready to go. They have it on in case any mess happens. It's perfect. So I would definitely always have a bib on them. Like if we're out somewhere, this is just great to put on top of their outfit. And that way if they burp up or whatever happens, it just goes straight on there. Another essential to have is if you don't have the foot covers on the sleeper and you're just going with the plain onesie that I just showed you, Socks are definitely essential. Your baby's feet are always probably going to be cold. Um, so these are super cute. Sorry, I had to I had to show you the cute ones, you know, the little ballerina bow ones. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this is because actually the plain white socks that we have roll down on her feet quite often. And if you notice, these have little ridges on them so you want to look for socks that have a stronger elastic on them because your baby is you know moving around so much that their socks are just going to slide right off if they don't have any grip to them around the ankles so you do want to look for socks that do have a strong elastic so they don't just fall off but definitely socks are an essential and cute ones if you can <laughs> i also strongly recommend a nose cleaner for your baby the ones that have the round end to it that you could just suck the snot out of i actually don't have that with me because i misplaced it and i'm ordering a new one currently but that is also an essential for when your baby has a snotty nose that is awesome to use because it just sucks them right out and that way they're not snorting and sniffling like a little piggy <laughs> um, and just keeps their nose clean. So that's definitely an essential as well. If you are a mom with a newborn, you definitely know that it's so hard to get things done around the house, to even take a shower, to eat, to do your makeup, to really just do anything. <laughs> so one thing that I found has been super helpful and is a definite must have and just a life hack basically 
is this baby carrier. A funny story about this is when I was creating the baby registry, this was Benny's like, this was his item. He's like, I want this, I wanna be a dad, you know, that's carrying their baby all cute. When you put this backpack baby carrier on, you can literally just slide your baby right in. She seems to be super comfortable in this because honestly, like a minute later, she'll just fall straight to sleep and I can start doing things and get things done. So this has been really awesome, especially now that I'm past my six week mark. I have been going down to the gym and trying to get at least 10 minutes on the treadmill every day. So when I have her in this, she'll just fall straight to sleep and I can get things done. So I really, really recommend this. It's really nice because it has this cushiony seat right here where the baby sits on this nice supportive belt that goes around your waist and then this front stretchy mesh side so their face if it rubs against it or leans against it it won't get um you know marked on or rubbed against or hurt or anything and the funny not so funny but kind of funny thing is since we are during this you know covid pandemic because we're wearing masks all the time we thought that this was a baby mask that came with the carrier but it is actually to place over their head when um you know you go out in the sun and you don't want the sun to hit them directly so that's also been super nice because since we are home all the time i've actually been kind of worried that she hasn't been getting as much sun as she should have or I feel like when we go outside, it's very striking to her eyes because she's like, oh my God, what is sun? Um, so I just put this over her and it just gives really nice protection, but it also like still lets her see, you know? So I just definitely recommend a carrier if you are a mom with a newborn and want to get anything done without just one hand, put the carrier on and make it happen. <laughs> Moving on to bedtime when your baby is finally asleep. But then it's sad because then when you finally put them to sleep, you're like, <laughs> like I'm like, she looks so cute. She looks like a little angel. I always think about the babysitter on Cat in the Hat when Mrs. Kwan is babysitting and the mom calls to ask <laughs> how her kids are doing, but she's actually babysitting thing one and thing two. She's like, oh, they were little angels. So I always say that. <laughs> a baby and Benny and I just laugh about it but anyway besides the bassinet you really want to invest in a boppy a boppy is definitely 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 an essential this is the boppy that I had on my registry and I laugh about this because I feel like it looks like something Paris Hilton's dog would be on we just joke about that we're like we're gonna put baby in this right next to our dog dexter on his dog bed and they're just gonna hang out and be two little doggies and she's a little dog princess but um in all seriousness this has been a lifesaver when you know i'm busy during the day and i just need her to like chill out for a second but she doesn't want to go in her bassinet and sleep she just hangs out in this she does really like this it's cushiony her head goes right here and her body's right here and she can just hang out here and be chill and it's just been really really awesome when we're all hanging out as a family and watching tv in the bedroom or something we'll just put her in the middle on this and she'll just chill with us i just really really strongly recommend this because when your baby he does get fussy and doesn't want to go in the bassinet this is great to go on it does say that your baby should not sleep on this um due to you know suffocation and different things like that but um we have let her sleep on this but we are supervising her when she does so um i just strongly recommend this and this has been really great and awesome for a newborn something else that has really helped her go to sleep and calm her down is um this blanket so thank you to my friend sam because she loves this ballerina blanket um, this is more of an oversized blanket and I found this really helpful because when I'm holding her, I just wrap her up in this and I feel like it makes her feel very secure, very comfortable, very cozy when she's just on me and I just wrap her in here really nice and tight like a swaddle and just kind of hold her and calm her down before sleep. Um, she does fall asleep in it very easily and um, 
I also put her in this after bath time when I was talking about how I used two of the towels to keep her a little bit warmer and then once I finally get the diaper on her I do wrap her up in this and just hold her nice and tight so she does get warm and doesn't feel cold anymore and this has been super helpful for many different reasons and it's so soft so if you can just find a blank that's really really nice and soft and a little bit oversized for a newborn um, to really cover them up and just hold them nice and comfortably this is definitely a must-have it's actually time for me to wake up amorous and feed her so I'm gonna have you guys come with me and I'll show you the bassinet and how I take her out of the swaddle hello my sweet girl As a parent, you know that swaddles can be very, very difficult to learn how to do and put on your child. So Benny actually got this swaddle from Target and it's just a zip up swaddle that has literally been a lifesaver for us. It keeps her nice and snug and keeps her sleeping. As you can tell, I'm talking and she's still sleeping, which is a miracle. And she's just really, really nice and comfy in her Halo bassinet, which I will go over and review right now. So in this halo bassinet, we have these buttons right here. So this one gives a nice womb sound and I usually use this one to help her go to sleep. It also has um, a light effect at the top if you're at night trying to see. You can also change it so it's a little bit brighter or a little bit dimmer. Change the volume up or down and then this one is an, a vibration so it makes them feel like they're still being rocked and it can go a little bit stronger or you can just turn it off but this bassinet is really awesome we love it she loves it and you're ready to wake up and get fed huh yeah you're happy because you're gonna eat oh you're mad <laughs> all right let's go eat baby and we'll show them how we prepare your formula sounds good yeah yeah <laughs> okay let's get you out of your swaddle baby good girl let's have a big stretch big stretch yeah say hi hi youtube good girl all right let's go get you that baby so I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Thank you guys so much for watching my newborn essential video. And now I'm going to go hang out with my baby. Yeah? You want to go hang out, sweetheart? Say hi. Hi, YouTube. My name's Amaris. And that's a wrap for our newborn essentials, right, Amaris? Yeah. You say yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next time.